Hey there, long time no see. Let's see, we're back for some Astro Boy. I just picked up uh, some random person's little soul spirit thingy, whatever ish. And hey, Daichi, you're all right. I'm Astro, I'm here to save you! Finally, Astro, I've been waiting for you. Let's see who's the best robot. What? Aren't you Daiichi? <laughs> Yes and no. The real Daiichi died three years ago in an accident. But Dr. Tenma implanted Daiichi's memory into me to build a machine dummy to... ...take over his father's assets. I'm Atlas! I Transforms, and let's see what you are made of, Astro. Bring it on, boy, little guy. You know, you're a wimpy little boy, aren't you? I mean, like you cheap little retarded dashing move thingies, and with my huge little laser beam thingy. That's a huge little. All right. I should have just flew over, so you know you wouldn't have been able to hit me. Because instead, you know, then he'll hit me and it'd be like dick. Hmm. I see you've become stronger. That's exactly what I was hoping to see. More dialogue. Hold on a second. Why do you want to fight me anyway? To evolve, of course. Why else? Evolve? Dr. O'Shea didn't create you. Dr. Tenma did. Just like he created me. Tenma was a heretic who was expelled by the science ministry. Her heretic. 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 He believes that robots should rule over humans. And you and I are special robots who were created to serve this purpose. We can constantly evolve to be the strongest so we can rule the world. Rule it. What? Shenanigans. Just look at me, I'm neither fully human nor fully robot. And I'm a scheming bastard. I'm a monster. A cookie monster. You will never understand what this feels like. I can eat food, but then I poop bolts. But Dr. Tenma told me that if I defeat you, I will be able to see past my own sorrow and become something never seen before. The ultimate evolution. So you see why I must use you to overcome my curse. Fate. I shall become the ruler of this world. Here I come, little man boy. Uh, what the hell is all that dialogue for? And then he like fights more, and then I just hurry up and defeat him and shit. I mean, he only changes his attack just like a little bit. But it's like, you might as well just let me beat you up in the first place, man. 
And see, I kind of like that weapon to like let me move around. And uh, like an idiot, I should have just like not stayed over there. Cause it just moves around, and it's like whatever. Yeah, I think that's an end to him. Stage three clear. Awesomeness and stuff. And uh, you know all the points doing its thing. And uh, let's see. Somehow I did that in nine minutes. Well, I mean, not if you count the dialogue. And then it's like twenty something minutes. But it didn't count dialogue. What is this? Is this? Oh no, it can't be! Oh my! An artificial hibernation capsule! Who is she? And what is she doing here? Who is she? Why do I feel like I know her? Oh, I'm so shocked. I can't remember. Oh, it was all the drugs I did in my youth. Ah, oh, my head is about to split. Oh. We have to postpone our battle, Astro. Atlas! Hmm, that was a lame way to end it. But know this, Astro, there will be a day when you must put an end to this battle. He will overpower you now, since he also has a human soul. You couldn't beat him now, even if you tried. Learn to feel sorrow and bitterness just as Atlas has. Learn and evolve. Live to become what will be the greatest creation of my life.